Several city officers are moving up in rank. Seven members of the Attleboro Police Department have recently been promoted. A ceremony was held last Wednesday at City Hall, and we spoke with Police Chief Kyle Hegney to learn more about the ceremony and the hard work involved to move up in rank at the Police Department. I was uh, very pleased how uh, the, uh, the public and their uh, families came out to support them with these promotions. It's a very special point in their lives as they elevate their careers with all their professional development and time that they put into it and how it takes, it takes a lot of support from their families um, because it, it's, it's, this just doesn't happen overnight. This is a lot of years and a culmination of being sworn in tonight. So without their support, um, it would be very difficult to get promoted. Uh, make, making captain was James McDonald and Brett Poria. Making lieutenant was Tim Cook, Jr. Making sergeant was Richard Woodhead, Kevin Blackwell, Jeffrey Rogers, and Robert Miller. Uh, the candidates first have to take a civil service exam. The results come out, and then there's a rigorous uh, a panel interview, uh, which may compose of three to four chiefs this time around. It was three chiefs. Um, it's, uh, it's about a two-hour interview with the chiefs. And if they pass that step, uh, then they uh, receive an interview with the mayor. And if they pass that interview with the mayor and myself, um, that's what happens where uh, they now get appointed. Uh, and that's why we're here tonight. With these permissions, they'll, uh, they'll be required to uh, elevate their managerial skills, their cognitive ability, and more importantly, their leadership skills. Um, I, I hold uh, my staff uh, accountable for what they do how they lead, how they supervise, manage, uh, just like Mayor Dumas holds all the department heads in the city accountable. So, but these, these men have been uh, uh, selected. Um, they've proven that they subscribe to the problem oriented policing philosophy that we've instituted in our police department. And I'm absolutely very proud of them and for their families to have them receive this promotion. But more importantly, I'm, I'm very, very pleased that they're joining the command staff because they're going to be the future of this police department and lead us into the future and continue on the, the strengths and the, uh, the accolades that we're uh, uh, currently uh, more or less achieving with this problem oriented policing philosophy in our paradigm shift. Dylan uh, hold, he's, uh, holds a special place in my heart and uh, he's been coming down to us and uh, visiting us. We actually had a pizza party for him and uh, he, he's just a tremendous kid. And, uh, we actually received uh, uh, good news as of, uh, as of late. Um, he, he does uh, have several tumors, and uh, one of them is showing signs of shrinking. So we're, we're very excited about that. And he's he just a really special, wonderful kid who has a lot of wit and wisdom, but more importantly, bravery. I owe a lot to the chief. I've been here for 29 years. I've been doing patrol for 20 years. I've been in the courthouse for seven years. and. This chief here is the first one that believed in me to promote me to sergeant. I've had other chiefs, and this, I'm very indebted to the chief of police for noticing my skills and noticing that I would be a good leader and a good coach. I'm going to be in charge of the POP team, which is the problem oriented policing team, so some of the functions that come with that is taking care of the people's needs, no matter what it is. It's not just criminal, it's non-criminal, it's whatever the people's um, way of life has been turned different. could be somebody as far as putting unregistered cars or drunk cars on their on their property and they have to live there and watch look over at that that mess and we would take care of that um, anything that the people think that really bothers them it's their way of life it ruins their way of life we would look into that and take care of that we also look at um people who are getting out of jails we visit with them make sure that they're staying on the up and up we make sure that they're going to maintain a straight life and they're not going to get in trouble. We've, a lot of us have come up through the ranks together. Uh, you know, we're happy for each other. Uh, we we uh, just want to carry on, carry on the tradition. As always, it's uh, good support through uh, the citizens, through the council, to the mayor, to the chief, to the state reps. They come out for it and uh, obviously we're appreciative. I'd just like to congratulate uh, all that went through it tonight. I'm glad they're with us and uh, appreciate the opportunity from the mayor and the chief.